What's going on guys? Welcome to your first Java game applet development tutorial of the Java game development applet tutorial series. Um, what we're going to start learning about is creating games for you know our web browser if we want to put it on our website. Um, stuff like that. The way we're going to embed our, our code into a website and also um, yeah that's pretty much it. We're just going to create some simple games give you guys the concepts you need to create games in general for Java um, and all that good stuff. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. Hopefully you guys have Java set up already. If you don't, check out our other series like the Java 1.0 uh, or 1.1 uh, tutorial that we have on mybringback.com and get, get you know Java set up, all that stuff, and Eclipse as well. So after you have that all set up, we're just going to create a new project we're gonna call this web game and well bam there we go uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new class call this uh, starting point if you guys have followed the previous series that we have I'm gonna bring back which hopefully you guys have otherwise this might be a little bit fast paced but the first thing about a web applet is we don't need the public static void main um, method that we have pretty much with all of our applications of uh, that we've built in the previous series all we're going to do for a web applet is say extends applet and shabam uh, there we go the next thing that we got to do we got importer applet pretty simple pretty basic and we're getting a little caution thing but don't worry about that so now that we've set up a Java applet what is an applet what does it do um, basically it's just a smaller application uh, we are limited on, on functions and features and stuff like that um, but it's pretty easy to embed in your website and we can create simple games with applets uh, so let's jump into it let's see how they work uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go within our brackets of our starting point class we're gonna hit control space and we have some methods that we can use and the first method we're gonna use is called initialize oops uh, control space uh, init um, and that's basically what's going to be called the first time this applet's ever been browsed or called upon so we're just going to hit that bam we got that set up and we'll just kind of go in the order of how the applet works so the next one we're going to create is called start alright so the difference between start and initialize is initialize gets called once the very first time you know you stumble upon this applet and then it, after it calls the initialize method, it's going to call the start method. So the start method is always going to be called. We're going to be doing uh, setting up some stuff within our start method, like our thread that we're going to be using for a game, all that stuff. So um, those, that's the difference between those two. Um, again, we don't have to put all these methods in there, but most likely we want, we want the start method at least. And then we have some other methods that we can throw in there, like uh, stop. Um, going to hit that. And then also, again, control space for these. Uh, destroy and if you guys fold the Android series these are kind of familiar um, but uh, if you haven't that's cool and then the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control space and we're gonna say paint this is gonna paint all of our graphics to our applet um, that we're gonna be using I don't know exactly what game we're creating yet but if we have sprites we want to use it within the paint method so again if this looks confusing to you guys um, don't worry about these super methods we haven't really talked about those too much, I don't, I don't think, in the last tutorial series. We can just delete those, and, uh, and there we go. We basically have our web applet set up, and in the next tutorial, we're going to start coding a little bit and uh, setting up some of these methods, what we want them to do, and all that stuff. So make sure you check it out, but this is the basic framework of our web application or web applet, um, and again, the initialize gets called if you guys want to leave comments um, or whatever. The initialize method gets called the first time you view applet, um, and then it'll call the start start method here. Whatever we have within the start method is gonna be like, well, yeah, okay, I can do that. That's cool. Blah blah blah. Set up our game, all that stuff, and then you know these other methods like stop. This is when our applet stops basically, and destroy when we destroy our applet. If we want to save some data from our game. Uh, we can do it within the destroy or within the stop. Um, and then the paint is going to paint our graphics to our application, paint to the canvas if you guys watched you know, the last series. But uh, we'll get into using these later on within this series. 
again, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial series. It's kind of fun, but uh, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.